part of everything we touch, feel, know, and want. A deep and primal driving force within each form of life upon this fragile planet. The will to survive, thrive, and to compete. In the beginning, it was for life. Shelter, food, and territory. But as our primitive civilizations advanced, we no longer used rock throwing as a method of hunting. Soon, our survival rituals became our games. Feats of strength, and endurance. As society evolved, men and women also took on different roles. In a recent past, we were taught that women were physically inferior <laughs> and much more emotional than men. <laughs> Doctors were actually convinced that somehow moving the position of the uterus could manage a woman's emotions. And if that wasn't wacky enough, doctors also believed rigorous exercise could cause a woman's uterus to fall out. Due to the wandering reproductive organ, that woman, as a derivative of a weak man, should not be encouraged to engage in sports or athletics, but to confine their pursuits to domestic skills such as weaving, spinning, gathering, and childbirth. We had one coach call, well, he said, now girls are pole vaulting, you're going to have to change your rating system because girls can't jump on poles rated at their body weight. And my reaction to that was, the pole doesn't discriminate between race, religion, and gender. It's just a piece of equipment. It only reacts according to the energy that's put into the pole. I think that legitimized the event in front of a hard crowd to please in the sense that Coaches become technical, and there were probably some skeptics out there, and uh, you hear all the nonsense about, well, girls aren't strong enough, and, you know, it can be harmful to them. I think that just flew out the window that night uh, amongst many of the detractors. And there are a few real pole vault nuts and freaks that lived and breathed pole vault and still were a little uncertain whether this event was going to stick. <laughs> well, I think that... Uh... I think for a long time, the men in our sport always thought that women couldn't do certain things. For a long time, they thought women couldn't do the marathon because it was going to mess up their reproductive system. We couldn't sustain that kind of training on the body. Women were supposed to be home cooking and cleaning in the house, you know. And, you know, things have changed. Women are much more power, powerful now. They want to be out there in power roles. And I think pole vault is one of those events, too, that encompasses you know, showing, showing strength and courage. One of the ways that people have justified the exclusion of girls and women's in many sports is, is by creating myths showing uh, that, that something negative will happen if women are involved. So, you know, initially when women wanted to run in the marathon, uh, medical doctors would say that running in such a strenuous way would uh, would damage their uterus, and that it would make it would make uh, becoming pregnant difficult. Other doctors said that if women played certain kinds of sports, it would strengthen their abdominal muscles, so that childbirth would become very difficult. And some of these events that weren't in track and field for girls that were for boys, then people started to question it. You know, they started realizing probably a lot because of the impact of Title IX and they could see what girls were doing. This was in the 70s, the late 70s and early 80s, even though pole vault didn't start at the high school level here at Oregon until 1995 it was the first year it was in the state high school championships as an official event. So it took a long time, but... Um, they, girls were showing they could do these things. It was just, you know, it's all related to opportunities. It's all related to opportunities and coaching. And that's what Title IX was all about. You had to have opportunities. And you had to have good coaches. That's what I fought for. Whenever people have money or, or time or opportunity, um, boys are often <laughs> the ones that um, that, that, that benefit. 
And I think if we don't create space for girls, whether it's in um, a war-torn country or here in the United States, um, then girls are always going to be relegated to um, responsibilities that are supposedly theirs, that they've um, inherited by tradition and culture. Honestly, like, well, that's dumb. Really, what do you mean girls don't do this? You know, as a teenager, and I was like, girls can do whatever they want to do. You know, this is, you know, this is the modern world. Girl, girls do everything. It's how how can they say girls don't do that and actually enforce or not let girls do it? I just, it kind of like it just boggled my mind. I didn't really even understand it. So when we started going into like, okay, we need to change the rules and this and that, I'm like, good, change them. You know, I didn't realize how much would go into that change. But in my head, it was like, well, obviously it has to change. Through the years, there had been a lot of girls in gymnastics had showed interest, you see what I mean? But everybody just kind of said, now nah, this ain't going to place. Because I, I remember when the newspaper from Chicago, the newspaper from Boston, and one from San Francisco called me. And said, what made you think that girls could vault? And I said, let me give you my sixth grade experience. I'll tell you why. My dad gum Dutch girlfriend beat me. That's how I know. And I thought I was the best thing going. <laughs> Have these attitudes about women changed? Or do they still exist in society? Today, there are more female athletes in the U.S. than ever. But sports still remain a male-dominated arena where men prove their masculinity. We examine the evolution of the female athlete through women pole vaulters and how they represent a small, powerful movement, not only for the quest for gold, but for human, civil, and women's rights. Have we really changed? This is the story, the right to vault. It wasn't all that long ago, women didn't have the right to vote. We've come a long way, but there's still a long way to go You've been soaring in your dreams Not always landing on your feet But now you show the world That you can compete You got the right to vault To reach a little higher There's a new generation Champion join the fight and Little by little misconceptions were pushed aside And finally over time It came Title IX And gave an equal chance for everyone to shine Take another